Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and this is day 88 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on gratitude. So yay for day 88, it means I have 12 days left. Yay, very excited. Um, sorry, this is another one of those videos I'm doing at the end of my day instead of the beginning of my day because I, I had a really long day today, but it was a really good day. I am so grateful for so many things today. It's just, it's amazing to me, all the things that God has blessed me with today. Um, so today has just been a fabulous day and I've been learning a lot of things too. Um, just a reminder that I take things personally and that I misinterpret things that aren't that that aren't the way that I interpret them, <laughs> I guess, misinterpret things that they're not that actual way. I'm trying to make that make sense. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> In a long day. But um, I had an incident where, you know, I, I get disappointed when things don't work out the way that I want them to, or I want things to be differently. And I have a tendency on occasion when it seems like it's someone else's fault or someone else that has the final say in whether or not I get to do something that I want to do. Um, I have a tendency to think that if I don't get to do it, it's because of something they don't like about me or they hate me or <laughs> some, like some negative thing, you know, or like I've done something to upset them and I have to fix it or, you know, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like I'm blaming them because things didn't work out the way that I want them to. Um, or I just feel like things aren't working out the way that I want them to in my life and I want someone to vent to or blame, so I blame them. And then, of course, something like today happens and I realize that it had absolutely, it wasn't what I thought that it was really. And um, so it, <laughs> it was just that circumstances were what they were, I guess. I'm not making any sense because I'm really tired. <laughs> Basically, I I had something that I was going to give to someone and I couldn't find it. And then I wasn't going to get to see them because I couldn't find um, I couldn't find it. And then because I did find it, I did get to go see them. And it turned out to be a really good experience. We had a really great time. And it turns out it had nothing to do with whether or not they wanted to see me. It was just, you know, they didn't want to. They saw things differently than I did. They didn't want to inconvenience me, they didn't want me to have to come out for nothing, didn't want me to spend money if I didn't need to, that sort of a thing. And I was like, but I want to come, I want to see, I want to do. And they're just like, so they weren't, <laughs> it wasn't because of something I did. It wasn't because they were trying to keep me away from, from them or the situation or whatever. They just, you know, so, um, but I did get to go. I did get to have a nice visit and it was, um, it was really nice and I'm really grateful for that. And I was just kind of grateful for the realization that um, I don't always, I'm not a mind reader. That's a reminder. I'm not a mind reader and I don't need to take everything personally like I do or assume that it's because people don't like me or they want to cut me out of their life or something. The whole abandonment issue, things that I think I have. So I automatically assume that there's something wrong with me or that they don't like me because I don't get to do what I wanted to do. Or I don't get to hang out with who I wanted to hang out with or whatever the case may be. It's like, oh, someone else is trying to control me. They don't like me. I don't know. <laughs> my brain is insane um and actually i think it's just those old default settings because that's how i felt like i was treated um and not that anyone ever said those things to me just that's how i interpreted them and realizing now that those are false interpretations and maybe some people did feel that way about me i don't know because i'm not a mind reader and it doesn't matter but anyway i was disappointed about it yesterday and then it all worked out today this morning. So I got to wake up to the good news of things working out. And I was like, Oh, yay, this is way better than I thought. And it, it turned out way better than I thought, which was awesome. And then I got to go visit with my other friend today, that is helping me do my motivational board, <laughs> kind of a thing. So that was a lot of fun this morning. Um, it was really a lot of fun. So I got to be really excited about doing that. Of course, we still didn't finish. <laughs> because. I'm really picky, very, very picky, and I'm very grateful for my friend who is very talented and very patient with me. And it's so fun. I was thinking about that after I left because she kept 
double checking to make sure that I was sure. She's like, I don't want you to settle for anything. I want you to actually like it. I want you to like what you like. And she allowed me to just take my time and be like, okay, just be sure that this is what you really want. If not, we can change it. It's okay. <laughs> so we were laughing and joking and changing things. And, but it was nice because she, you know, she would occasionally put some comments in and then she was like, oh, sorry, it's your thing. Whatever you want to do. It's okay. And I was like, oh no, no, I appreciate the comments. I, I think that it, it helps to make things a little bit better because she saw things that I didn't see. And I was like, oh yeah, I like that. But I also know that I could say, oh no, that's okay. I like it the way it is. And she would be okay with that too, which is awesome to have a friendship like that, to have a relationship like that, where you can just, you know, be honest and share what you think with the other person. And they could say, oh, cool. That's a great idea. Or say, oh, you know, thanks for your input, but I think I'm going to just leave it the way it is, you know? So it's, it was amazing to me. I don't, haven't had a lot of healthy relationships like that. So I was like, this is cool. I like this kind of relationship. This is good. This is positive. And I need more positive interactions and positive things and positive people in my life so that I can remember <laughs> not to take things personally or think, oh, great, something didn't work out or someone doesn't want to see me today. So, you know, they hate me or they're cutting me out of their life. <laughs> and I'm like, it's and it's not that dramatic. It's not that drastic, but that's where my brain goes. Um, cause I have abandonment issues cause I was ignored and you know, whatever growing up. And I just didn't learn how to maintain connections. And when people moved away, I didn't know how to stay in touch with them. So it's like they moved and that's it. The end is over or tried and then they changed and they weren't the same anymore. And it was like, Oh, and then it's like the relationship got lost anyway. So it's kind of, you know, and then I, when I've moved, I just haven't bothered to keep in touch with people because I was like, I just, I don't know how to maintain long distance relationships and things. So it's sad. I didn't learn those things. So, but I am grateful that I can continue to learn and maybe someday I will figure those things out. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the best at communicating and keeping in touch with people. So I need to do better. But it's cool because I'm making these videos so anybody that wants to know what's going on with me can watch these videos and then they'll know what's going on with me. Um, so that is kind of a positive side to that. Um, but it doesn't mean I get to know what's going on with them because not everyone in my life is doing the same thing. <laughs> and yeah, anyway, but I'm grateful I get to make these videos. I'm grateful for the things that I can learn from these videos and that I can see the changes and the shifts in my life today. And I'm so grateful for my friend helping me with these um, motivational boards. And then I i don't know if you can see this. I wanted to put this up, my little quote thingy majingy. If you can read that. This is one of the things that's going to go on my um, memory memory board. It's not a memory board. <laughs> motivational board, <laughs> vision board, whatever board you want to call it. It just has a list of positive things about myself and my goals and fun little quotes like this one. And this one says, don't let the fear of success keep you from succeeding, right? No, oh, stop you from succeeding. Sorry. <laughs> but I don't know if I heard that from somewhere else and I just copied it or if it was just some inspiration from God that just pop that into my head because um, it was work the other day. I think I mentioned it in one of these videos that I just said that to someone else, but it's just been replaying in my head. And I'm like, I need that one. And I love that it's all the different colors because I love bright colors and it, it worked out perfectly. And it's so funny because my friend was trying to do something different with the background color. And then she did that. She's like, oh, it's not doing what I want it to do. And I was like, oh, but I like how it turned out. I'm like, that looks really cool. I'm like, just leave it like that. She's like, really? I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> and then we did all the different colors for the words and it was, it was just fun. And um, I'm just grateful that she's so willing and patient to do that and to change stuff to the way that I like. And that she wants me to to not settle and to be happy with everything that she's doing. And that was something else I was thinking, you know, I haven't had, I've had people in my life that have told me they want me to be happy, um, but I haven't had people that have told me, you know, don't settle or that have sat there and been patient with me and be like, okay, what do you, what do you want? And allowed me the time to think and decide and, and to look at multiple options and be like, oh, this is okay, this is okay. Cause 
most of the people in my life, at least growing up, are very impatient or they couldn't wait or they're like, oh, you just get this because that's what everybody else is getting. So that's what you get because you can't make up your mind. <laughs> or they just be frustrated with me because I'm constantly changing my mind or I don't know what I want. And they're just like, oh, it's so hard to shop for you. Oh, it's so this, it's so that because you don't know what you want and you're so picky and you're so this. And I'm like, I am. But they, you know, they make it like it's this bad, horrible thing. And I'm like, no, it's just who I am. And I don't always process information right away. And sometimes I have to see things in order to decide if I like them. And I, sometimes I'm like, okay, that looks cool. But then I walk away from it and then I come back. Like the first townhouse I bought, the, the realtor that I was with, she was like, you're lucky this house is still on the market <laughs> because we went and saw it. And I didn't like the furniture and the, the way that the people there had it, the house, the decorated but I liked the, the the outlay of the house, the way that it was laid out, I guess, the, that it had the two bedrooms, that it had the big kitchen. I liked the living room. I liked the front the living room closet, things like that. I loved that it had two bathrooms. <laughs> um, just simple things like that. Um, wish I had that place now, but I don't. Anyway, um, but I didn't like the, the furniture and the other stuff, so it kind of just throw me for a little bit and we looked at a bunch of other places but that one just kept playing in the back of my mind and I was like I like that one the best and so then I asked her if we could see it again because I really liked that one and she was like so she checked because it'd been like two weeks and usually by that something's off the market so we went back and looked and I was like yeah I really like it and I think at that point they'd taken the furniture out so it looked a little bit different I was like oh it looks so much better without the furniture the other people had in there so I, I really enjoyed it and I was grateful for that. And I'm grateful I got it, you know, but I do that with lots of other things too, where I have to stop and decide. I'm like, okay, this looks interesting. So I am either one of two ways where I see something I'm like, oh, I really like that. And then it doesn't matter what other stuff I see. I just get fixated on that first thing. And I'm like, nope, oh, that's the first one. I like that one. Or I have to see a whole bunch of things. And then I'm like, oh, one of these seemed interesting to me. I kind of like this one. And then I have to kind of go back and forth. I'm like, and I really, and the one I keep going back to is the one that I know that I like or the want because it's the one that keeps playing in my mind. So, but I, I never know which one it's going to be. So I'm just really grateful for my friend that was just really patient with me and letting me go back and forth and make that decision instead of getting frustrated and irritated. And who, you know, a friend who wants me to be happy and she doesn't just say it. She's like, I feel like she means it, you know, and she's like, don't settle. Cause I'm like, okay, I want this. Like, no, no, don't settle. And I'm like, no, I really do want this one. She's like, are you sure? Cause you were looking at the other one. I just, I don't want to make the decision for you. And I just, I thought that was so sweet. And it just, it meant so much to me because I haven't had a lot of people in my life that have ever done that for me that cared that much about whether or not I was happy or liked the way that things were done. Most people are just like, okay, I'm glad you like that. Or, oh, that's just so picky. Or I'm just, you know, and there's that part of me like, so what do you think of my board? And she's like, well, it's for you. It's however you want it to be. And I was like, that's so uncomfortable for me. It's so cool. I like it. But it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable because I'm so used to getting other people's approval. And it's, it's that nice reminder. I don't have to have someone else's approval. And I'm like, and she is right. It's for me. So if I make it so that she likes it, and I take it home, I'm not going to enjoy it as much as if I make it for the way that I like it. So it's like teaching me to remember to put myself first, that I can have things that I like and that I can like things different from other people. And as long as I'm happy and I enjoy it, then it's good. And other people should be happy for me that I have things that I like that are happy. And I can be happy for other people to have things they like that are happy, that are that are different from me. We don't all have to like the same things, but we can enjoy each other's differences so I'm, I'm really grateful for that. And I'm grateful for my little quote that I'm claiming, unless someone else can tell me it's someone else that actually said this saying. And I'm like, yay, I have a little quote. And it's fun because they're fun colors that I like. And it's fun because it's one that I was inspired to come up with. And granted, it was to say something to help someone else. And I think it's helping me more. So it's another one of those God moments, I think, where God is just reminding me that he tells me what to say and I say stuff and then it ends up being <laughs> what I need or it helps me, which also reminds me that I know that my inspiration and my talents come from God and not just from me. I'm, not <laughs> I'm like, he gave me these talents and he gives me the words and the things to say for my books and for my YouTube videos and for everything else like that. They're not, um, 
it's not me. And I'm like, yes, I'm like, I'm claiming this is my little quote by Midge Shoemaker. <laughs> Don't let the fear of success stop you from succeeding. That's my quote. Um, and I can, you know, maybe put my name at the bottom of that at some point. I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's said that. And uh, my friend kind of Googled it. She's like, let's see if it's up here. And it's already got a picture behind it. And I was like, um, okay, you can do that. Except I sort of just made it up. So, <laughs> And she was like, oh, then I probably won't find a quote for it. And she did look it up, but nothing like that. The other stuff similar popped up, but not that particular verbiage, I guess. So anyway, I'm claiming that verbiage. But it made me feel, it made me feel good about myself and confident. And it just feels kind of cool that I'm like, I made up a quote that is really cool that other people can use if they want to. Um, so that was just, I don't know, it was just fun. It's just a very grateful day for me. And then I got to spend some extra time with my kids tonight and it was just fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And my daughter, I don't know if she decided my car was dirty or if she just liked drawing on my car because she likes to draw. So she um, she made little um, block letters that spelled love on the back of my windshield. So now I'm like, oh, that's so cute. So I need to get my car washed and now I don't want to. But <laughs> I will probably still get my car washed anyway. And then I had issues with my tire today. Um, my son noticed, which I'm grateful for. He noticed that my, one of my tires was low. And he went and got his um, someone to come and check it out for me, which I'm very grateful for. And they were able to just pump up all of my tires and make sure that they had the right air pressure. And I was a little bit nervous about going to work tonight because I drive for a living. I need my car. I need my tires. And um, But... My tire lasted all night and it's still totally inflated right now. So I'm not sure if it means I need to get a new tire or not. So I'm going to take it into the dealership tomorrow or basically later this afternoon after I've slept for the night, for the day, whatever. <laughs> and um, not the dealership, just the, um, the tire place company where I got the tires from because I'll rotate the tires for free so I can get them to at least rotate my tires, which may help. And then they can tell me if the tire needs some kind of repair done to it if, or how much longer the tire will last or if I absolutely have to get new tires, which I'm kind of hoping I don't absolutely have to get new tires because I can't really afford new tires right now. But I'm just really grateful. I feel really blessed because I was still able to go to work tonight. I was still able to make the same amount of money that I normally do in a work night. And um, I got a bonus at work for doing so much um, driving tonight. So I was like, yay, all the extra stuff tonight. It all worked out. And my tire didn't pop. I didn't end up having a flat tire somewhere on the side of the road or any of those crazy, horrific things that were going through my mind. And I'm also grateful because I had the choice to just be like, oh, great, I got a flat tire or a low tire. And even though it's been inflated and it looks like it's OK, I had the choice to just come home and not work and not make the money and stress about not being able to pay my bills and whatever that was. And then figuring out, oh, great, I'm going to have to go get my tires, new tires and, you know, not going to be able to pay for it. And instead, I was like, OK, you know what, I just have to go to work tonight. So I was just praying that my tire wasn't going to blow on me, that it was going to be okay. And I just, I felt at peace about it tonight and I was able to go to work and I was able to remember that it has a little thing that'll pop up telling me, you know, check the tire pressure. So if it pops up the tire pressure that I need to pull over, then I probably need to go home. And it didn't pop up at all, all night. And then I checked it when I got home just to make sure. And I'm like, and it's still totally inflated. It's totally fine. And I was like, oh, God loves me. He's blessing me. All the little things in my life are just, I mean, it's not necessarily working out the way that I want, but they're working out. Things in my life are working out and I am blessed. And I feel even more blessed because I was able to see that I needed to change my thought process and not take things personally or assume that people hate me or are cutting me out of my life, cutting me out of their life, I guess, because that's not true. That's just me overreacting and freaking out. I'm also grateful to see that God is blessing me to have the need, the means to pay the bills, to do the things that I need to do, and to just be able to see God's hand in my life. And I'm also very grateful that I chose to go to work tonight instead of giving up or not doing because I had a flat tire. I had the choice. I had the choice to give up and have a depressed day and be at home and stress about the fact that I can't work because of my tire, 
or to go to work and take a chance. And I took a chance and it worked out and it was okay. And I was still blessed. And I just, I figured I told, I told my father when I was saying a prayer, I said, look, I'm going to go to work as long as if the, the light pops up and so there's something wrong with my tire, I'll pull over, I'll check it out, I'll go home or whatever for the night. And if not, I'm just going to keep driving and I'm going to trust that if I end up with a blown tire that someone will come along to help me change it because I have the donut in the, the trunk of the car, the spare, whatever you want to call it, and it's going to be okay. And I went to work with that in mind, with that prayer, and I just basically told God I was trusting him with my tire and with my job and with me and he took care of me and my tire is still inflated and I'm okay <laughs> and I made the money I needed to make tonight plus I got a bonus tonight. Um, wasn't a very big one but it was still a bonus. So um, I just feel very blessed because I'm learning to trust and taking a risk, taking a chance and I didn't use an excuse to get out of doing what I knew I needed to do. And I'm grateful for that. And I just, I had a great day up to that. And I just, I've been <laughs> super busy. And um, so I just wasn't able to do the video earlier today because everything just kind of back to back with everything. Um, but it's been, it's been a great day to go spend the day with my friend and, and work on my little quotes that I'm so excited to see on my board at some point. Um, still have one more we have to make. And then I think, yeah, just one more <laughs> we have to make. <laughs> but I'm just grateful for her patience and for the fun that we've had doing it. And hopefully this next week we will finish it next week because we didn't finish it today. But um, also, she reminded me that I will be in single digits next week. And I was like, single digits for my gratitude list? I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, but she meant like number of days that I have left will be like under 10 days next week. And I was like, oh, that's right, because I only have 12 days left today, which is so crazy. Because I, I wasn't even thinking about it in like single digits. I'm like, no, no, I'm at 88. I still have 12 days, like two weeks, whatever. I, it hadn't even occurred to me that single digits are right around the corner. I was like... I am 12 days away from doing this. This is so cool. So very excited about the whole success thing and succeeding thing and really wish that I could have done this video earlier today, but I think I'm grateful that I didn't do the video earlier today because I wouldn't have had the story about the tire to tell and um, or the experience, you know, talking to my kids and, and seeing them for the first time in a long time, which is awesome. So I just it's been a really great day for me and I just feel very blessed and I'm super grateful that I didn't let a tire ruin my day and mess up my decision and that I was able to actually use that to practice trusting God and seeing him actually come through and take care of me in a very tangible, visible way that I could share and explain to other people. And <laughs> It's just... It's beautiful and it's amazing and you know I I just everything worked out and maybe not the way that I wanted to and I still have my complaining brain that likes to complain about things and I'm like I'm having a great day but it was a slow night at work at least it started out slow but it ended up a little bit busier towards the end and if nothing else I made the money I needed to make um, I reached my goal anyway for today which I'm grateful for so all of those things fell into place, even if it's not the way or the timing that I wanted it to. Um, so I'm just, I'm feeling very grateful and I'm feeling very blessed. And then it's like, I came home and I'm like, I'm hungry and I want to eat and I'm tired and I want to sleep. But I was like, I'm not going to miss a YouTube video. <laughs> and I'm like, I realize that it's technically, I've had a few of these videos that are after midnight or whatever. But to me, I'm like, it doesn't matter because I'm still counting it as day 88 because my day starts later and I work all night and I literally just got home and I haven't gone to bed yet. So I'm like, this counts as today for me. It doesn't count as the next day because my day hasn't ended yet because I work nights. So that's why I try to do my videos before work. So anyway, I've had a few that hasn't worked out that way and that's okay because I'm still doing it. I haven't given up. I haven't let that stop me, which I'm grateful for. I'm just really grateful for that, that I continue to go and continue to do. And I haven't let the little things 
get in my way and they've always gotten in my way in the past and there's still things that are getting in my way and I'm not doing everything perfectly but I haven't stopped these videos which I'm very grateful for and I'm very proud of myself for and now I have a quote that I can attach my name to which I'm very excited about and proud of but also humbled because I know it was inspiration that came from God it was something that I needed for me that I could share with other people that might help them too. And I feel very blessed and humbled to have that information and to know where it came from because it's not just me. I don't, I'm not that amazing by myself, but I become more amazing because of God, because of the gifts that he's given me and because I can open my mouth and hear, speak the words and then I can hear them and be like, oh yeah, I can remember what he just told me because I need to learn that. So I learn from the things that I say. I learn from the things that I share with other people. Um, and I'm grateful that I can learn that way. I'm grateful that I can see that. Um, I'm grateful for those realizations, those aha moments. And I've been having a lot of those <laughs> moments. And um, it's been really good for me to have these moments, to feel this love, to feel this blessed, to have people that care that much about me, to realize that... I just overreact to everything. I freak out. I overreact. I think the worst. That is my default setting. That is my impulse, my immediate reaction to whatever is to just give up and be discouraged. And yet doing these videos and focusing on gratitude and seeing God's hand in my life. Um, well, doing the gratitude videos has helped me to see God's hand in my life more than I did before. And it's helping me to see that I have choices and to see a positive way. And even though that default setting of the negative comes up first, I don't have to believe that default setting. I don't have to go with it. And even when I've thought those negative things, there was the reminder behind it that that's not true, that this may be this way, this may be this way. I don't actually know what's going on. I need clarification. I can't just jump to conclusions. I can't just judge other people because I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, and maybe things will work out and they did work out. So it's just a reminder to me that I have choices and that not everything is the negative, horrible thing that I think it will be. That's just my default setting, but it's not right. And it's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. I was going to say it's often wrong, but I'm like, it's just not right. My default settings are not right. Um, but they can be tweaked. They can be changed, hopefully. It'd be nice if they would be permanently changed, but I think there are always those default settings. But I can at least change the settings, and I can be aware when the default kicks in and be like, okay, that's an old default setting. I don't have to listen to that. I can go back to or I could change it to something positive, to something I could be grateful for, to a better choice that will make me feel better about me at the end of the day. And I feel much better about me today because I went to work on a tire. <laughs> then I and I worried about it all night. I'll be honest. Not not all night. It wasn't like on the forefront of my mind, but it it did randomly keep popping into my head and um I worried about it a little bit, but for the most part, I ended up just being grateful because that I was like, okay, the little thing didn't pop up in my car. And I'm okay. And every time I worried about it, I said a prayer. And every time I said a prayer, I was like, okay, I'm turning it over to thee. I'm turning it over to God. I'm like, you're going to take care of me. If there's a problem, whatever it is, I'm like, I'm going to accept it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> but I needed to, to say it out loud. I needed to turn it over multiple times, but the more times I did, the less stressed about it I was. And then I think I was just the most relieved tonight when I walked around and saw that my tire is still inflated and everything is okay. But it doesn't mean I can ignore the situation. I still need to take it in tomorrow to have it looked at to make sure that they can at least rotate the tires because they should have rotated them at least twice in the last month or two and I haven't done it. <laughs> so I need to rotate my tires and then I need to, um, see what it's going to cost to get new tires or if I even need to get new tires. Um, hopefully I don't need to get new tires or if I do, I can put it off for another month or two until I can afford them. <laughs> but um, at least at least I'll have a better idea as to what's going on and at least I won't have to stress or worry. So I have options and I'm just really grateful today to be reminded that I have choices, that I have options 
that it's not just the one default setting that pops into my head that I'm not screwed. It's, I'm not an epic failure. It's not the end of the world. It's not devastating. I'm not stuck. I have, I have choices and those old sayings don't have control over me. Um, or at least not as much control. They're losing their power because I'm focusing on gratitude and I am seeing these things and I am learning to trust God and learning to trust other people. Mostly, I think, learning to trust myself and learning to trust God. And I'm very grateful for that and very grateful for all the things that I'm learning. So and grateful to the, the, all of you people that are watching me <laughs> and listening to me ramble and go crazy because I, you know, I'm wired. I'm tired. I have been up all day, all night. Um, but it's been a good day. It's been great. And I'm very grateful for that. And um, if you like this, you can hit like, subscribe, share if you think it'll help someone else. Um, and I hope you have a great day full of gratitude. So thank you.